That one is my favorite. It makes your eyes twinkle. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Oh. The Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh fought Parashuram while standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look. 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! Hey! You need the guide. Oh? And what'll that cost me? <laughs> My sister needs me. How am I supposed to get the Open the damn bag again. I need to get these supplies across the bridge. Need to be on that truck before it goes. Oh! So, you're Ganesh. How much for it, really? Not for sale. Excuse me. <clears throat> what? Don't get me wrong. Decent technique on the lift. But I'd like my Ganesh back. Please. <sighs> Fine. A for effort, kid. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. 300 rupees. Best deal in all of India. Ah. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen, I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what, when I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal. It's okay, it's okay. What happened? He was standing over there. Wait! There he is! There he is! Here we go. It's just an accident.
active war zone. Nothing you can't handle. What's your rash? Yes, sir. You. How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey! Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him! I said, where do you live? Arabdazan. I'm in the middle of something. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. Red door. Check. smoke. You're useless. I can't sell it. I don't want it. I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No, thank you. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. Okay. You're moving out tonight? Can't wait. I'm tired of these people. No oh, shit. Asas says one week. Timing. Another week in this shithole. Remember the end goal, brother. Pink Lotus. The hell does that mean? Long enough. It's been with Asaf since he was chasing down small trinkets all over India. You and the real fight. <laughs> Tired of these small operations. When do we take the fight to the tyrants? Asaf said he needs more time to prepare. They won't think that for much longer. Been here for weeks. When do we move on? Not until we fix the safety. If we beat them, we must keep to the shadows. The army has eyes Holy shit. Right. Active water.
messing around. Ah, pink lotus. Not what I was picturing. Two targets. One was the warehouse, the other. <sighs> You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? <laughs> I've caught you now. I know where to run. <laughs> You're late, Fraser. I nice see you too. Holy shit! They took on the first squad! Stop them! What the hell was that? I thought you were a professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down Asov. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it gonna be? He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Hmm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor, balcony. All right. Come on, I'll give you a boost up. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. <clears throat> Follow me. <clears throat> that wasn't so bad. Now what? Patience. Up here. Really? Really. <laughs> Careful on this one. You sure this is safe? No. Come on, this way. You realize we're moving away from a soft den? Yeah, we're taking the long way. Now I see why you're always late. Receive Cobra One. Get to the pink loader. We have activity. Over. Copy that, Cobra. Uh, 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 quick work. Well, where to now? Up. Oh. 
Okay. Just exploring our options. Sit tight. Well, she certainly lives up to her reputation. Avoid crates from now on. Okay, good deal. Some cheap office supplies if you want them. You're always this talkative on the job. Yeah. This will just take a moment. Shop. He's been a busy boy. How much do you think it's all worth? Enough to keep his little insurrection going for quite some time. Salah and the tiger. Maybe he's closer than I thought. It doesn't bother you. These are all Indian artifacts. It's not my fight. Lakshmi, goddess of wealth. Oh, 
ivory trader too. Asshole. I'll just borrow this. Fraser. Mm hmm Come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What was that map? Western Ghats, Oysala territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. in here. surprise. Ah, ah, careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You're too kind. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle? Of course, of course. Pity, though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? I mean, this... This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser. Collector of antiquities. A thief? You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. <gasps> what? I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. Oh. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure. The Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions, three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Mm. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. <laughs> You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out! <laughs> After that! On me! Through the window! Nice oh, walking! Uh, 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 come on! We need to get across the river! Get 
In here, quick! What the hell was that back there? Messy but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. Guess a little bit can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go! Come on! Right behind you! Dangerous! Jump! Oh no! Ah. Got you! Lang! Come on! You still have the disc? Yeah. Keep moving! Watch out! Nice. Oh, for the love of God! Oh. 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 Come on! Come on! Oh. Oh. Last yours! The lot of you! No time to blow! Let's go! going out there. On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? <laughs> don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transports, hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesha's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You thank my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. Might have rubbed off. We must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. 
Nice work. It's a long way to go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. Miss Hosala? Hosala. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A salve's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. Yep. Amazing landscape. Here, give me your hand. I'm good, actually. Okay. Want me to drive? Nope. I don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. <sighs> Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoysala exhibitions. I've never even heard of the Hoysala before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, laundered his empire's wealth, built a new capital to help the tusk. And then led the Persians right to their doorstep. And now? And now. Looking. Oh, ha. Refreshing. Ugh. Could have warned me. Oh, where's the fun in that? So, quite nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Away from the city. Quieter. You come back here often? No. Well, the head. Oh, slow down. Oh, look at this. Koisala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. What have we got? Halabadu and Balur. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. 
Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balor. Well, the stonework is beautiful. But this isn't much of a defensive wall. Hmm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? Hey. Is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. That'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan. Unless you bought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. Right. That should do the trick. Oh, Fraser, move. It's an ambush. Oh. Shit. Take cover. Uh, thanks for the heads up. Okay, we're clear. Right. Where were we? You were about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah, I was. And there we go. You're awfully quiet. I'm just surprised as all. Figured you'd be more of a leave no trace type when it comes to Indian runes. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. What? They're just large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. There we go. Made it. Spotted? Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Okay, guys, nothing. I must admit, your girls have surprised even him. Stay on guard then. Prove me wrong.
Oh, hell. This will make a racket. Not bad work. Let's get going. Careful. Always. Right. Back to shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Wow. It's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for us off. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. These guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Saab. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with the Sav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... No. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. You're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our tracks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yup, you are. I'm a little surprised Asav's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than... Oh, hold up. Look there. One of Asav's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. <clears throat> We're definitely in the right place. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. The gate secured! One down over here. We have company. I want them found. Now! Watch it. Another one down. We know you are out there. Go! I got it. Hey! 
They are over here! You will pay for that! Fraser! Sniper! them! I think that's a lot of them. You all right? I'm fine. Apart from working for a reckless treasure hunter. Okay, where to next? Good question. Let's explore. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. What's this? Don't know. Seen a few of them around. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. Here goes nothing. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. How about you? That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it. You. Only one left. <laughs> Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Okay. You did it. 
goddamn right I am. Did. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> Here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse and jigsaw puzzle? A trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. I think it's safe. You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Hmm. Made a real mess of it. What well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort embedded in the mountain is worth a look. And definitely that fort in the lake bed. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun. Fraser, I keep coming reinforcements. Figures. Hello, brothers, where are you? Huh. you see? Do a sweep. Grenade! Ah! Watch yourselves.
All right, we're clear. For real this time. You handed yourself on, all things considered. All things considered? That's high praise coming from you. It is. Mountains and lake bed. Yes and yes. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side, oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. Fraser, wait. Easy. Asov's men have that sight. worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Fraser? Want to climb it with me? I'll keep watch for Assault's forces. Right. Don't drive off, though. Don't take too long. Up and away. Up there? So far, so good. You're missing all the fun. <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> all three symbols, all in one place. Nice. Parasharama's bow. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. 
I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Let's see what's behind the axe door. Another old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Last but not least, the trident door. Glad I didn't try to take those jerks on by myself. for a call button before climbing up. Was it worth the climb? Definitely. All three symbols up top, each pointing to a different structure. No kidding. So we know where else we need to visit now? Indeed we do. Hold up. Damn it. The rebels took that site. Well, here goes nothing. I say we blow the wall open. See what's inside for ourselves. Asav's expert demanded that the sites be unspoiled. What the? There. Shit! We have them! Oh, shit. No way out of this! Don't recognize this. It's not one of the three symbols. Think it's worth our time? Ever say no to a chance to make some extra cash? Hmm. Huh. That wall looks fragile. Some kind of Hoysala token. Hope that was productive. Just a token of some kind. Old Hoysala thingy. Think we need it? Need? Probably not. Want? Definitely.
I'll be right back. You got it. Time to go. Uh. Might be more guys over there, yeah? This should do the trick. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Matches the symbol in the tower. So, Parashurama. 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 Who was he again? Okay. A six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Right. Still wrapping my head around it all. <laughs> Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. It's Razor! Nice shot! That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted the others. Can't be helped. Come on. We're all clear. Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. <laughs> you do have a sense of humor. <laughs> Would have preferred a head start over a sob. <laughs> Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. I think it's all of them know what they're looking for. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. <clears throat> Follow me! Ugh. <sighs> 
friends up ahead. They don't know we're here. Good. Uh, amazing, all things considered. How are you so relaxed? Didn't you hear those gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asab himself. Uh, I'm keeping my safety off, just in case. Mine was never on. Hey! Here we go. Get down! Sniper! No! No! them. All right. Are we clear? We're clear. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Hmm. That should do it. across at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. <sighs> oh, there you are. Having fun? Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Oh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. I'm guessing it'll be a bow this time. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier.
it there. Banasharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadu. That's... pretty funny. Last stop. The fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, oh, this is open now. One by the mountain left. In. Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh, yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. We hear our thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd stop with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Hey, hold on. Shit. This guy's all over there. Let's get a closer look.
Once more, with gusto. <laughs> Go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Salah versus the tiger. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. No, 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 no! Oh! <coughs> yep, come on in. Water's fine. I mean, don't drink it. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. does not afford luxury. What the? What the? I have eyes on it! Just behind you! Okay? Slightly deaf, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving.
Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <sighs> oh shit, the statue moved again. <sighs> Look out! <sighs> I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two <gasps> different symbols now. Star and rings. They're all both the last sons, but I like your descriptions better. Ah! Near miss there! Make your progress? Son of a bitch! in three. Okay, so far 
so good. of habit. Share. Let's make an axe. Both the middle and inside pieces seem to move the outside ring. Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Huh. Here we go. Let there be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? 
Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. <laughs> Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I... Oh, God. Fraser! out there. Now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. Not many of us out here. This one was hoping they'd get bored and leave. Probably won't, unless we ask nicely. We've lost them. She who fights and drives away lives to fight another day. All right. And we were talking about... You were talking about an arms dealer. Oh, right. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? 
Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But, I'm guessing, we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Oh my god. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place of the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. Huh. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? It must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. That's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Yeah. Come on. Hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah. Their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. How we get up to the crown? Did you bring the helicopter? Left it at home. Bum. Then I guess we're climbing.
Look for a way up. Go then. Okay. My apologies. Come on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, 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 oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Just accept my help. Come on up! But only because you said, please! I didn't, actually. I thought you said Ganesh was the remover of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him for Halibadu? He's also the Lord of Good Fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. This really the only way of course. Yep. You having fun out there? You know it. Woo! Amazing. Fun, right? That was the craziest thing I've ever done. In a good way or bad way? I'll let you know.
You're doing great, China. We'll be doing better when we get to the farm. Surprised we haven't seen the Sav yet. Knock on wood. Find us around. The doubt will see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have a stone to climb the car. <laughs> I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Oh, 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 thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it? Oh. Impressive. Yeah. Oh. Now, how do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Huh. Feels more sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Here's our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Wow. Yeah, uh, shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one, and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Ready? After you. Ugh. Incredible. It's our old friends. Parasharama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. Well, it's not a fair fight. Yeah. Ganesh isn't even armed. I guess it's not really his style. whole place out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. They barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. Here. Hey, look, our moments. You were writing it in. I have my moments. Now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. actually works. Yeah. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. 
They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. <sighs> Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. What the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Well, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. There we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. This device looks familiar. Oh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the X? Yeah. The one that Shiva Ganesh's father gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. All right, that slid the piece away from me. It's shadow move too. Let's try this. Over you go. I see what's happening. Those shadows match the mules. Right. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun. nowhere for them to go. Slide any further.
think that's it? You did it. Doors open. All in a day's work. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Oh, careful. Mm. Amazing. What the shiva? Mm, my thoughts exactly. Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know, none of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva is the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Belor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Belor? Oh shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose! Uh, Grab the edge, quick! Uh, 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 That. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueduct. <laughs> Water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> You know, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me, right? Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty's not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Asav's keeping his men in the dark? Uh, undoubtedly. Look at this. Okay, are making progress, no? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Didn't give it up easily. Right. Yeah, you take left, I, remember. I take right. What the? Uh, that works too. Nice job. Probably more where that came from. Right. Above you. Right. Sorted.
Oh, shit. Where are we? No idea. But at least we're not in the line of fire. That thing carved down the floor. What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. Up here. Think there's a way through. Poor bastards. I don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. Hear that? I do. Yep, there's the aqueduct. Up here, there's a breach. Shiva. It's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. A Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? All right. <clears throat> So, in times of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. Leave her alone, asshole! Come. Let's make this quick. Give me back my disc. Come get it. <laughs> what do you call that fighting style? Punching dickheads technique. You're making this easy. Swing and a miss. Proud of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. So slow. You see, to rule a people, you must first sow chaos. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king, starting with you. Fraser, get him! Son of a bitch! Grab onto something! What? Anything! Okay. You okay? Mm. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Hey, take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> I'm 
shit, Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. Uh, can I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his cause. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey. You sure you're good to go? As good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. Up here. Go slow. Yeah, one sec. Just want one last look at this place. Let's get that thing open. Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, we better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Sam Drake. He's a goddamn expert. He's Sam Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave you him You knew my history dead. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sav made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man. That's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. And to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. This is what I get for being honest. Socked in the door. Well, Nandy's not too far. <laughs> Glad I thought to pack painkillers. Of course, they're back in the 4x4. 
No way down around here. Here goes nothing. Slow down. Slow down. Well, at least I've still got my dignity. This way. Huh. Good. <coughs> oh, right. <laughs> That's more like it. Oh, oh, shit. Get down, get down. Oh. Holy shit, is that Nadine? Oh, she's really stepped in it now. Need to get to her. Not getting that deposit back. We got them!
need to use explosives to bring that APC down. You all right? Come back for more. Save it. Never get anywhere with these bastards looking for us. Come on. APC. Yes! Off to a good start. Welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay. Cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up, okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority's the task. Not Sam Drake, and certainly not you. Fair enough. What are you doing? <clears throat> Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Whoa. What was that? Exactly what it sounded like. Taking 
shortcuts. I'll be there. Oh, wow. The kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. Okay. Looks like a step well. You don't care. Shh. You hear that? Now I do. Don't mind us. She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. <clears throat> just, just a bit more. <clears throat> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait a minute. We need to get down. Just stay calm. Are you talking to me or the elephant? Both? Easy. Easy. Easy does it. Okay, then. Where's it taking us? Wherever it wants. Here. <clears throat> you want some of this? Here you go. Look, I am... Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions, because this time he said he was onto something big. <laughs> he was always onto something big. But. Bandits raided his camp, and, um... Local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. 
He certainly made his choice. So? Listen, Fraser, you don't have to... Ah! It's a doing. Charging, I think. Tell it to stop! Because I speak elephant! Oh! She was so distressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I got it. All right. I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, hey? Okay. Deal. Come on. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today. At least we've reunited a family. No, oh, just keep your distance. <laughs> that bull will kill you. Suppose it would be a shame to come all this way and die right now here. I'll take this one. Oh. Okay, thanks. Move over a little? That's good. Now, reach that way and hold out your hand. What? Much safer way to pet an elephant. Much obliged. Maybe it's been a while, but... Elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian <laughs> elephants. Nice of a salve to leave some supplies for us. Mm. Load up if you need it. Good call. Up here. Upstairs. I see light through the water. Wow. Hello, 
Belua. <sighs> you know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asov. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. to it.
Ah, let's see where this goes. Must be a way into the city somewhere. Whoa. Up there. Guess Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. Asav only respects the soil. Never thought I'd see a place more spectacular than Halifaxon. It's a shame, in a way, that Baloo is hidden from the world. And now we know why. Another I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. <laughs> oh, come. We were just here. Into the ledge above the fall. Ah, very good. There we go. Up this way. Damn it! They've blown the entrance! That must have been the explosion we heard. It's gotta be another way in. They're trying to slow us down. Yeah. <laughs> in here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? A bath? Or a well. Possibly both. <sighs> Bit deeper here. <clears throat> Look. There's some air bubbles coming up from the pool. Huh, look there. The queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised. 
with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Well, what on earth is this? What is it? Ancient Kunnad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. Fraser, over here. Whoa. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Dad was here. <laughs> Something big, all right. Oh, why didn't that stupid bastard tell me? I said it yourself. He wanted to keep you safe. Let a salve get that task. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Through here. <sighs> Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? Okay.
That's our way back in. Copy that. Thanks for going first, eh? You're welcome. Ready? I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Place is started. <gasps> okay. Easy does it. Now, oh, what? I've got water in my ears. I hate that. I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. Nice work. How do I don't know there's this place? A throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. Are there stairs going up? But they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find a salve. Or until he finds us. Nothing to climb this way. Shiva's got a trident as well. The Trishula. The three points represent creation, preservation, and destruction. But back in Halabidu, the trident was wielded by Ganesh. Yeah, that's what Shiva used to chop off Ganesh's human head. Oh. Yeah. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. <laughs> I'll give this a spin. The hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. <laughs> okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. Ah, 
there's another crank up ahead. Standing right here. I know. Okay, I better get a move on. Going back now. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hang on. Oh, good suggestion. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Coming? I'm going to search the other side. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I've got this one. <laughs> Bringing down Shiva's drum. <sighs> Uh-oh. This one's like the trident. Time to move. It's an hourglass shaped drum. Oh shit, here we go. Hang on. Time to see what's up there. Oh. Huh. It's running all the way down to the hen. That's cool. Bet I need to do the same on the other side. Safe bet. I'll wait here. Sure thing.
my pants. Wow. I can see my house from here. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, let's see what's up there, shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Then. Ah, here we go. The thing it's holding. It's a prism. And that looks right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. You were right. Of course I was. About what? What you said. Back in that place with all the statues and axes. Things always come in threes. Three points of a trident, the light split into three beams. <laughs> huh. Not off to a great start. Hold on. I've got an idea. What are you doing? Improvising. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Careful. That ledge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. Got it. Thumb. We'll have to do the other side first. Does that mean I can put this mirror down? If you have to.
Huh. The light's hitting the statue, but nothing's happening. She's not the right place. <gasps> ah, right. <gasps> Got it. Okay, can you be a statue again? something so I can put this down no wait for it what's happening I can't see from over here just uh, hold still for just a sec all this water it's a cleansing ritual what's happening oh you can put down the mirror now oh, shit. they found us get you ready shit <laughs> <laughs>
quite the fall. You had me worried. Come. It's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. You made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit. What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah, but... I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <clears throat> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but that, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh! oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. It appears the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on oh, our on way. Oh, on the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram a mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, uh, you will watch them die, uh, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't!
Sharama. Over here. You'd better not be stalling. Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! my patience. He's yielding. Thanks. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiom. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. <laughs> Not to a selfish prick, no. You see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? 
Oh, what, nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right. As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes! No! Oh. Yeah, the lockpick! Got it. Hold on. Okay, don't do me! Coming! Okay, alright. Damn it! Uh, Ladies first! Chloe, dear, not to rush you, but would you please hurry the hell up? Take a deep breath! <sighs> smoking. <coughs> Doc! <laughs> Think they saw us? Let's hope not. How the hell did Isov get that helicopter? Maybe it's the buyers. What do you mean? Still very to Sov talking about <coughs> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh... <clears throat> Back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Uh. 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 I saw we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just you saying. Right, 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 right. Less talking, more walking. The <laughs> bias. Uh, well, I tried. to solve the cagey one. Almost never talked shop in front of me. Can't imagine why. Hmm. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoist solid. What's the law? Yeah, that's it. Found the train tracks. Sort of. Kind of a shock seeing all these modern structures after the hoist solar ruins. British or Portuguese, 1500s, they're so not quite modern. Chopper! It's circling. The 
Sol thinks we're dead. Let's try to keep it. Oh, Nadine. We're not on a first name basis. Okay, fine. I heard you worked for us off too. How'd, uh, how'd you deal with the torture? Oh, man. Did he stop talking about himself or his cause? Hey, hey, careful! Oh, that looks fun. My machete. It'll help? No problem. Go ahead. Well, you first. Much obliged. Wow. A detour? You coming? Uh, I would, but the bridge here is a little busted. Jump! <laughs> I'm flattered you think I'm capable of superhuman feats, but it's kind of far. Hey, this might do the trick. Holy mother of shit, this is heavy. <laughs> One piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. You know, I feel so much safer with her around. Nadine, see if there's something up there we can use. I can do it. No, we're good. Come on, China, I'll give you a boost. All right, just trying to be chivalrous. Just watch him, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Anything up there we can climb on? Like a crate or something? This should work. Huh. Nice. Got it. Come on up. Go ahead, Sam. Age before beauty. Are you too kind? No. She's just worried I'd kick it over and leave you down there. Right. Uh, how about I scout ahead a little? I wouldn't really leave him. Yeah, well, play nicer. <laughs> Sam, see your way forward? Yeah, sorta. We'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. On my way. <laughs> oh, Chloe! Oh, shit! Oh. Oh. 
Okay. You all right? Yeah. Great. I'll just borrow Nadine's hook and... I have a better idea. What are you... Uh, don't move. Uh, come on. Hey. I said don't move. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> hey, too, Chloe. Thanks for scouting ahead, Sam. Yeah, 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 just leave the rope for me, please. You got it. There's a cave up there. Might cut through to the tricks. I take it she's going first. Why don't you go ahead? Leave the rope for me. You got it. Next time, bring your own bloody rope. Heads up! Okay. What is this place? You and we can probably what? That sub guy doesn't do things halfway. It's going to be quite a show. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Wait, sure. What the hell are they doing there? We got rid of all these. Hey, guys. Sam. Saying. Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Cause I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and Shit. just... <gasps> she said she was cool! Do you like my improvisation? Yeah! Gold star for you! It's the last of them. Uh, Nadine, can I have a word? What? Just following your example? Yeah, but... Coming. <laughs> Fraser, you go first. Thanks. Nearly to the rail yard.
God, it's ball, she's alive. <laughs> Nadine, she's over here. Well, you all right down there? Yeah, I was fine until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? By the radio tower. Nadine, do you see a way up? Straight up. <coughs> we'll find something you can hook your rope to. Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. <coughs> Got something for you. The bracelet against that strut. I'm doing it. There. Okay. Come on up. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's buckling. Jesus. Come on, quickly. Get up here. Go, go, go. Sam, hold on to that bar. I'm doing it. <clears throat> oh, shit. Well, it looks sturdy enough. Thanks, you too. Well done. Yeah, not bad. Considering it was our idea. So, you never heard us all talk about Torlon? Where to God. All I'd heard from these men was the Indian army had cut off his supply chain and they were looking for outside help. The salt must be desperate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Shoreline's willing to take money. I mean, Forget it. It's true. <laughs> Stuck. Let me a hand. Sure. <laughs> See that coming? Everyone all right? Fine. Uh, yeah. So much for our way up, though. Yeah, maybe there's a way through, though. Ah, oh, great. Can't stop now. <sighs> Little high. Sam, bet you're tall enough to get that ladder. Come on, I'll boost you up. I'll give you a hand. More the merrier. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with this. Sure. Ready when you are. <clears throat> Oh, have you ever noticed? Oh, shit! Sorry! Right. <laughs> any spare ladders up there by any chance, Sam? I will look around. Been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, well, can't say I was expecting Sam Drake to come back into my life. You know, I wasn't sure if I could trust you either. Had to test you a little bit. Hmm. That include making me wait two hours in a war zone for you? Certainly tested my patience. See, in that instance, I was just straight up late. There was this little girl in the market who sold me a scarf. She wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Likely story. Hey, uh, you two head back to the tracks. I found something here that'll work. Yep, coming! Okay, Sam. What do you got? I have found a crate. Well, of course you did. Yeah, I'll push it down. Wait, it won't be high enough on its own. <sighs> oh, right. Good point. Uh... We'll bring the cart over. We'll meet you halfway. There you go. That's using the old noodle. The what? It's the... Your br the noodle. It's a saying, as in your brain. That is not what I pictured. It was a compliment. <laughs> <For> Christ's sakes. <laughs> There we go. Old switcheroo. You 
two are doing just great down there. <sighs> Okay, ready. You got it. Arms away. Perfect. Let's go. All right, come on up. Your turn, Miss Ross. Don't call me that. Yeah, well, it's professional courtesy. In that case, call me ma'am. <laughs> I can't, I can't do that. Look, nearly there. Sam, you can use my rope. I'm part of the rope club, I'm honored. It's clear. Come on. Here, I got your rope. Thanks. Well, this just keeps getting better and better. Between Asav's man and Shawline, there must be at least a couple dozen guys in there. Hang on. What's in that crate? Uh, guns, ammo, maybe. Uh, maybe. I thought Shawline didn't do arms deals. We... They didn't. Never mind the crate. Where's the tusk? Well, there's a solve. With... Orca. Who? My former lieutenant. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yeah, there he is, in all of his mullet glory. Right? Yeah, she gets it. Okay, well, the deal's done. Your boy Orca has the task. Let's go relieve him of it. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. We got a plan, guys. Like I said, there's over a couple dozen guys in there. Relax. You'll live longer. I am so proud. What just happened? Oh, great. The chopper's airborne. No. Stick around for clean house first. You mean us? Let's bring that sucker down. These rebels are my kind of crazy. Saying they're well funded, too. <laughs> Yeah, tell me about it. Almost burned through my share from the island. I've got a bit left. My brother keeps telling me I need to invest. You? Invest? Good luck. Sure, bro. I couldn't follow a word he was saying. You need to diversify your portfolio. Beer, guns, women. It's already diverse.
Finally, something we can use. <laughs> too little, too late. What does that mean? Hassan has been lying to us. There's no glory in this. Talk like that to anyone else, brother. We'll be shot. I'm just saying what everyone is thinking. Then just think it and shut up.
done with my company made it profitable for starters I think that was a rhetorical question love I should have shot you back on that god for second island I wish you had it would have spared us a sight of watching you turn tail and run all right you just hash your shit out on your own time okay uh, tusk please you two partners Either you've got a piss poor memory or you're even more desperate than I thought. Jeez, I'm just getting it from all sides today, aren't I? I'm not the one reduced to hustling weapons to ragtag insurgents. Ah, there it is, eh? There it is. Always thinking too small. You really think I would have traded this in exchange for munitions? I don't give a shit. Hand over the tusk. Owls, bells. You're gonna miss the fireworks, man. I won't ask twice. <clears throat> Cats. Gun! Nice <clears throat> shot. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could... the hell off me. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh. Mind if you see that first? Um, hi, a third of that is mine as well. You're splitting, Chloe, Cher. Okay, I know you're new to this, but that's not exactly how it works. Consider it a service charge. You hang on a goddamn second. It's a bomb. What? A sub traded the tusk for a bomb. Fireworks. Th th this, this is big. Yeah. Those tracks run right through the city. Through the market. So we'll find the nearest town. Notify the authorities. It'll be too late. If that goes off, it'll kill thousands. And that is a terrible shame. But we did get what we came for. I... What? 
You are not seriously going after that train. Okay, fine. Fine, you have a plan? Doesn't seem to be much of a requirement in this organization. Are you really going to let her do this? No, I'm... I mean, she's got a valid point. Shit, I don't know, okay? This is not our fight. You said so yourself. Even if you catch that train, what happens? Disarming the bomb is impossible. You're right. Good. Good, so we'll, we'll call the authorities this and... This isn't our fight. It's my fight. That bomb detonates in the city. It'll spark civil war. I can't walk away. I'm tired of walking away. You'll die. I can live with that. Hey. <clears throat> Save my share of the task, okay? Just in case, right? What? You're not gonna leave me back there with her. Out! No! I call shotgun. <laughs> Fine. I'll sit in the back. Keep your eyes on your road, then. Hey, Sam, did you want to drive? I mean, kind of... Too bad. Buckle up, Buttercup. Look, this isn't my car. There! I see the train! We're gaining on it! Don't slow down! Shit! Motorbikes! Run them off the road! Out of my way! You are finished! Cut them down! Hey! You can no one rides the train! Check someone else's car! Don't you worry. Get closer and I can jump aboard. You got it. Come on. I'll pull you aboard. Coming. I got it. I got it. Don't get away. Good luck, mate. Think he'll be all right? Didn't know you cared. Uh, he's got the task. Hey, did you catch where they put that giant crate? Near the engine. Right, that's our next stop then. Shit, nowhere to climb. Over here. Mind your step. Yep. Let's try the other side. Whoa. 
Easy now. Okay, this is really dangerous. Okay, good. Making progress. Get to the engine!
something! Fire! Fire! Are you joking? Do I ever? Let's do this! Nadine! Oh, shit! Making it all the sweeter when we bollocks it all up. I think we're almost there. Why, Budge? Let me help. Oh, this is really heavy. Go. I got it. Okay, your turn. Uh, oh, it's way bigger in person. It's military grade, all right. Here, help me. It's too heavy. You can't disarm it? It'd detonate if I tried. All right, plan B then. Let's get to the engine. You coming? Okay, you go. Ooh. <sighs> 
That's definitely the engine. We can slide this way. Come on. No. No, no, no. What's wrong? The world did it shut. Shit. Hey, roof hatch. Don't think about what you're doing. Just do it. Come on! Any luck? Oh, this one's welded shut too. There must be another way. Oh, if you've got any ideas, I'm all ears. A switch! What? Up ahead, a switch house. If we can get to it, we can divert the train, buy us some time. All right, sounds good. Shit! <laughs> Dean. Back on the train. We have to flip the switch. We don't have time for this. Hey, jackasses, can you give us a minute? Shit, the train's getting closer. We got this. Switch. No, no, no! We're clear! All right, back to the switch. Shit, Nadine! I've got to get to her. Wait, 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 wait. risk your lives. And for what? A city of peasants. Christ, you're insufferable. The blood of the old kings runs through my veins. My people shall rise again. <coughs> Come back! <coughs> Take them out! <coughs> Not you to be good, Assault! <coughs> What are you waiting for? This is my land. What could you possibly stand to gain? Oh, it's all about what you have to lose. The bomb. I'll just buy another. 
I'll burn your city, thief. Your people will beg me to save them. Levine! Let's finish this. Don't fight. One should know when they're conquered. Your time ends now! Oh shit! And Nadine, you! I'm coming! Now you have a conscience! Go down! 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 Gotta get out! Oh no! No, oh, no, no, no! I know you! You're no hero! My war will destabilize the government! The sh. I will die a thousand deaths before I let you win! Oh shit! Friendly reminder! The bridge! Shut up and fight! Let's finish this! Go! You piece of shit! You've ruined everything! Everything! My cleansing would have been beautiful! Why didn't you just die? We're done here. You think you've won? More will rise up. Like the young king, you have achieved nothing. It's like you said. Progress demands sacrifice. Fraser, we need to go. Oh, you smug little shit! Run! <laughs> you guys get out of that? You know, I'm just still figuring that out myself. And, uh, Asav? Went down with his train. Oh, well, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. <sighs> Will you look at that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hmm. Yep. We just did a thing. We did. So, what's next for Nadine Ross? Take back Shoreline, conquer the weapons trade. I'm done with Shoreline. Really? Really? If anything, I was thinking I might give this uh, 
treasure hunting racket another go. Know of any selfish dickheads who might be in need of a partner? Uh, Not you. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry, I only work with professionals. <laughs> right. And where's the tusk? You go. Oh my god. What? Sam. I'm just joking. There you go. You're fi Ow! Okay. Jesus. That's my last cigarette. <laughs> Man, that's a beauty. Yeah. How much, uh, how much do you think that we're gonna get for that baby? Well, surely the Ministry of Culture will give us a, a generous yeah, yeah. finder's fee. <laughs> right? Partner? Elbow. Mm. Oh! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Ministry of Culture. Oh my God, you're serious. <laughs>